Hello and a very warm welcome to HW News with me Ali Azhar for the business headlines of the day. Let's get started. Famous for its sting operations, media outlet Cobra Post has come out with a startling revelation that it terms as India's biggest financial scam. A scam of such magnitude that it makes the likes of that pulled off by Nirav Modi and Mehul Choksi seem like the work of amateurs. The Cobra Post story published on Tuesday alleges that Diwan Housing Finance Limited DHFL had diverted loans worth 31,000 crore rupees via shell companies and siphoned off this money to illegally enrich their promoters, the Wadwan family. Diwan Housing, being a listed entity, is in control of public money and by lending astronomical amounts through shell companies linked to their promoters without any due diligence, the NBFC managed to reroute money via dubious companies to promoter entities to create private wealth, which was then used to buy shares and other assets in India as well as in other countries such as UK, Dubai, Mauritius and even a Sri Lankan Premier League cricket team. To give you an idea of the scale of the fraud, Diwan Housing's net worth according to its audited financials is around 8,800 crore rupees. However, the company has taken loans to the tune of 96,880 crore rupees. The Cobra Post expose, expose further went on to state that political donations worth 19.5 crore rupees had been given to the ruling party BJP between 2014 and 2017 by three firms linked to Diwan Housing. What is interesting to note is that in spite of losses incurred by two of these three companies, they still had the resources to make such political donations and unsurprisingly, all donations were made in contravention of the Companies Act. The Supreme Court has come down hard on the son of former Finance Minister P. Chidambaram, Karthi Chidambaram, instructing him to deposit a sum of 10 crore rupees before, before proceeding with his scheduled travel abroad. The apex court bench, headed by Chief Justice Ranjan Gogoi, also issued a strict warning to Karthi to cooperate with the investigation and to not attempt to play around with the law. Karthi Chidambaram is facing criminal charges in connection with the SL Maxis and INX media cases where he is accused of accepting bribe to help out INX media to escape punitive action for taking 305 crore rupees in foreign funding in 2017 despite having clearance of only 4 crore rupees when his father P. Chidambaram was finance minister. He is being investigated by Enforcement Directorate and CBI. In a big, big setback for the Ruya family, promoters of insolvent SR Steel, the NCLT on Tuesday rejected its offer of 54,389 crore rupees to bid for its own company and regain control in a last-ditch attempt. It was good news for the Lakshmi Mittal promoted Arcelor Mittal, which is the world's largest steel producer and paved the way for the Mittal-led multinational to have its bid of 50,000 crore rupees accepted. SR Steel was one of the original Dirty Dozen, a list of 12 most debt-ridden debt companies compiled by the RBI and given for resolution under the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code way back in 2017. The resolution process for SR Steel has now been dragging on for more than 540 days, much more than the 270 days permitted under the Insolvency Code. After nearly a decade-long dispute, the two co-founding families of Yes Bank, India's fourth largest private lender, have buried the hatchet and resolved their differences. In a statement to stock exchanges, the bank said that the two promoter groups, the Madhu Kapoor Group, and the Rana Kapoor Group have agreed to nominate one representative director each to join the bank's board which should be announced at the next board meeting in April 2019. The two promoters are also likely to withdraw their cases against each other in the Bombay High Court in the next four to five weeks. Thank you for watching HW News. This is me signing off. Have a great day.
If you like this video, please share it and we would love to hear your comments in the comments section down here. Also, please do like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter to get minute to minute news updates. For more such shows and videos, well, subscribe to our YouTube channel.